Good morning guys, welcome to today. Welcome to the green day. It is literally freezing outside. It's just Ellie and I this morning. I hear everybody crying in there. I hear Blossom screaming for her baby. And I hear her baby screaming for Blossom. It's okay, everybody, it's gonna be okay. Oh my goodness. Today is the first day that I'm gonna start milking. I'm excited, let's see your milk. So, oh, it's looking big. So her baby hasn't nursed for like 12 hours, so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna give everybody else food though. First, I, oh, look at all that milk. And then there's the quiet ones. He broke free. Come on, you have to go back and eat, eat your food. Mama's gonna be with you in a few minutes. Shocking turn of events. I let her out of her stall and instead of running to her baby, she jumped right up on the stand and went right into there. And I just had to close her in, like it was crazy. Here's the udder, holy camoli. It is full. She's like, please rub it. So I'm gonna milk her now. All right, so that was not nearly as fun as I hoped it would be. I got her a lot milked out. She's nice and soft now. Still lots of milk on this side, but she was not having it. This has not been fun <laughs> at all. This has been horrible. Let's go, you can go outside. There you go. And I'll put this open so you guys can come in and out. Eat your hay. I know it's wet and gross out here, but this is your life for a while. So even though he's eight weeks old, I can't castrate him for a few more weeks, another month. I have to wait for, for his health. Aww. See, he's okay. This is not gonna go well for me, I can just tell it. <laughs> oh my gosh. At least Rocky knows this. Like he's been over here lots of times. He's lived over here with our buck. He understands, so it's not so bad for him. <laughs> he was over here when he was bolt when he first moved here. Honestly, I'm gonna have to start waking up at 5 a.m. just to milk. Milking was horrible, absolutely horrible. She wanted her baby, she didn't want anything to do with it for the first ten, five minutes. She was like, oh, okay, do what you gotta do and then I'm getting down. And then for the next half an hour, she was like, I will kill you! Hopefully he doesn't try and get into the horse field. Hopefully he doesn't get through that fence. He's trying and she's telling him, come on, you can do it, you can do it. But at least they can see each other through the fence. Oh, he's really trying. Amazingly, I have a fridge and a freezer down here, so I can stick my freshly milked milk in the freezer so it cools really quickly uh, while I do chores. So, so we are having pooping issues, and I read about it and read about it and read about it, and there's just so much no, no information out there. So what happened is that I tried everything to see like my goat's poop was clumping together and it was not smooth or, or anything. Like, but I knew they didn't have parasites, but it's confusing and frustrating. I have milk on my glasses. So anyway, I experimented with a ton of things and I stopped giving them alfalfa for a couple of days. Poof, the problem gone. So alfalfa, which they need, the milking moms really need that, especially and the pregnant moms really need that. It makes their poop clump together and they need that stuff. So uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to try and play with the dose and see if I can get it to be normal, but I haven't given it to them for two days. Poop is perfect. So uh, we are headed into town to do Saturday shopping. I have like some stuff I need to get for my, for my milk. I'm gonna show you guys once I filter it and get it all set up. I'm so, so excited about the whole milk process. Stressed about the weaning process. <sighs> When I used to nurse my babies, I used to be like really into the whole milk thing. Like I used to express milk, I used to save milk, I used to get up like a big huge stash of milk. I loved everything to do with nursing and, and pumping and all that kind of stuff. So this is right up my alley. But I also used to be like 
so super stressed about supply. I wasn't able to milk her out completely and then I tried to put them together so that he could nurse and empty her and then he, well, they were just so stressed out from being apart. Like, it's just been a mess. Mama. We're gonna drive by and show you guys. <laughs> this is the status of the day. He's just at the fence. Yeah, they're just so sad. It's the saddest thing. If you know anything about milk supply, then you know that if you don't get all the milk out, your body will, it'll signal, signal your body to make less. So I need to make sure that I get all the milk out. She was just a wild thing today. I'm gonna do it again tonight, but I'm also gonna put him in there. I'm gonna put them together, him on a leash. That's what I did this morning, just to make sure, but he's fine. He doesn't even try and hump anybody anymore. He got past that stage. But anyways, I'm gonna try and let him nurse again today because the best way to keep your milk supply keep their milk supply up is to let the babies nurse and he's still so young like he's only eight weeks <sighs> i don't like that at all i don't like to take them away until at least 12 weeks we're supposed to have another full week of rain another full week and i actually didn't even mind the rain as much except for today it's freezing cold and rain freezing cold oh his mom left him Poor, poor goat. <laughs> Rocky's fine. The first milk that I got today, probably two cups of milk I got from Blossom this morning. So I'm gonna go down and take care of Winston and his mom again in just a second. I've been trying to clean out this little garden right here. It's in the front of the house. I have like, I want it to look nice. And so far it doesn't. I love these little hens and chicks though. They are absolutely adorable. And over here I have this garden and then a bunch of bushes and stuff. So I'm gonna try and dig out some of this stuff and just get rid of it right now really quick before I go back down to the barn. All right, so that is it. That's it for today because my hands are frozen. <laughs> I pulled a lot of junk out, uh, lots left to do, but it's a tiny little garden so it's not overwhelming. And because it's fenced in like that, I feel like I will be able to manage it no problem. And I'm so excited to start gardening season. In Canada, or where we live, gardening season starts on the May 24th weekend. So the 24th weekend closest, the weekend closest to May 24th is when we get started. I do not know what Sam is doing down there, but I hear banging. So let's go see what is Wins what's going on with Winston. <laughs> he does not look happy, and let's go see what Sam's doing. First, I need to wash my hands. Literally, if one person's not happy on the farm, ain't nobody happy on the farm. Hi, handsome, you're doing good. He's like, I've been so quiet before. I know, thank goodness, and he's actually been really useful. And I was thinking about getting rid of him. Come on, Winston, we're gonna let you eat from your mom. Come here, little man. Because you didn't do it this morning. Come here. There's your girl, she'll make you feel better. Yeah, he was not happy this morning. Let me assure you, there was no happiness in this little man's heart. Let's take him in, let him eat from his mom. And Rocky. And <laughs> Rocky's like, I get to babysit this Because man. then at least she'll be able to okay. keep up. What are you doing? He'll be able to keep up his milk, her it's milk. Like, Just take me to my mama, he says. Aw, it's okay. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Eventually, you're gonna be the big man on campus. So you get to sit with all the little babies. You're gonna get to babysit all the little babies in the three weeks. All right. Don't let him breathe. He hasn't even tried lately. I know. He just wants all the milk he can get. Well, they do. They breed their moms. Don't don't think it's funny, but he Maybe needs to look at him. He's having a good drink. Okay. Well, I love a day like today. It's cool, but not awful. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing the door. He's like, I could not get to my food. Oh, the pig's in here too. <gasps> oh my goodness. So did you have to take the doors completely apart? Wow. Looks so good, Sam. Look at him with his shorts and his boots. If anybody can find food, it's little Posey. <laughs> so now, look, just because he came and fixed that, there's no thing under there. There's no opening, so our goats will be safe the way our duck and our goose weren't. <laughs> Posey. <laughs> She's just like a curious little puppy. I'll fix this. So I That's actually have it there. Like you can actually kind of lock it. 
but there's no way to hold on to this thing. Yeah, I know. You need to put something on there for me to hold on yeah, to it. This is going to be like a, a lever. Yeah, that's really good. This. But in the winter time. Can you fix the other thing now, too? The other door? You know, it's annoying, Sam. It takes me five minutes to close the door when it's an emergency. You know what I'm doing today? What are you doing today? Andy's mane's gonna be purple. Are you actually gonna dye her mane? Oh my goodness. All right, let's get out. So my last goal for today, because man, it got busy, is to clear out all the rest of this and fill this baby with shaving. So Sophie and I are gonna do that right now. I'm gonna just do Honey's tail today and then on a warmer day do her mane. When you have energy is when you gotta do all the stuff, whether it's cold or not. I just woke up, so. Yeah, Sophie just woke up at one o'clock. Where are all your friends? She still wants her baby. She's like, let me in. Every other goat is gone. I don't know where they're gone. I'm driving, you're smiling. think this is a lot? Yes. <laughs> Sophie's like, yes. This is not even half of what we did the other day. Like, we are actually getting there. I got most of that cleaned out. I got that corner cleaned out. We just gotta, once this stuff gets out, sweep all this junk and we are good to go. So much work. <laughs> Almost done. Hold this. I'm gonna throw it. Yeah. <laughs> Stab me right in the leg. I hope I worked. They pee in that corner. That's good. All right. I don't even know where my pig is. I don't know either, but when I came All from right. the barn, she met me because yeah. I was yelling, Why was it? Why would I come this way? So. Long ago, someone asked us if our barn, like if our stalls were dirt or if they were cement. And cement. we didn't know. Oh, you can't tell. But it's cement. See this stuff right here? It goes all the way back. It's if this cement. Part's cement. Why wouldn't that part? All right. It is clean. We left a little bit of shavings over there that haven't been really messy. It's, it's done. It. It's done. <laughs> Two down, four to go. Tomorrow I'm going to try and get another one done, <laughs> much to my kids' dismay, but we got to get this done. It is so much work. It's so much back-breaking work trying to dig up all the straw and all the hay. This stall was the absolute worst one. My pig got out. Molly, let's go. What, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Come here, piggy, piggy, piggy. No, nope, he's, oops, he's lost. Thing I worry about the most is that if she got underneath that fence, You'll do you think she- You'll be able to see her bright pink. Yeah. We're in here, we can. Cozy, what are you doing in your bag? So the only way she could have got in here, just leave her while Sophie's in here. The only way she could have got in here is if she went through the horse field. Yeah, she, yeah, she went through that. That's how windy it is. What's happening? Oh, get ah! What are you doing? I'm filling up my bucket of water. For what? For honey's tail. You're not washing honey's tail right now. Why? Too cold, Sophie. Well then I'll put it in the sun and it can oh. Alright, so we'll do it like the next warm day. Fine. Fine. A nice mauve color, so we're gonna figure that out, but it's just too cold today to make them wet. Now run. Turn the hose off. Poor Gabby's doing her chores. Listen, <laughs> you are trouble. Trouble with a capital T. 
Watch, this is how you can tell she's sassy. When you get close to her, she'll do little flips. Come on. Come on. Don't you know that you're beautiful?